email me. I don't know where that money is. The car is yours, mom. Surprise. You need to come get this vehicle now and give me my money now. I don't know my answer. That's because it, mom. Yeah, me not surprise me. Hey. The tail light is illegal. My heart is <laughs> That is really good. <laughs> the reason why we actually brought you here is because you are now the owner of a Oh, me? Yeah, you. Do you, where are you? Do you see a car? I don't see anything. This one here? Yeah. Okay, get out. There's something there's something in the in the in the car for you. Where are you sure? how are you gonna make guarantee sure that it is? That it's not a stone. Open it. Open the open the car, the, the glove compartment. I mean the armrest. Come, come here, mom. Here. The car is yours, mom. Surprise! <laughs> she doesn't get it. She doesn't get it. Hey, what's the A? Open, open the whole IE glove compartment. Oh, the IE armrest. Open it. Open the whole thing. Woo! What? Surprise! Hey! 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 You just need to read the letter. Just read the first, the first A paragraph. We wanted to surprise you. We've been holding this secret for so long. I know. And the Geico thing is not an accident. <laughs> Big for your first month. The Geico thing? Yeah. I did it on purpose. I did today. That means she am what That means she am when you're not. That means she am what you That means she am what you're not. 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 So the car just came this morning. We wanted to surprise you because I know you needed it. And so I wanted to send it so we don't have to wait anymore. It's a surprise. You got a full tank of gas. You got a Visa gift card in the armrest. You got a t-shirt. Open the t-shirt. <laughs> Look inside there. You have other tins. The title. Gift card. Girl, you didn't tell me there was that many. Dunkin' Donuts gift card. You got a Visa gift card. That's so you can register the car. Oh my goodness. Hey, what's that to you? Yeah, because you always sweat. Hand sanitizer. <laughs> you got perfume and hand sanitizer, room spray, <coughs> car spray. Oh, wow. Yay. Yeah, I mean, should I? Wow. Oh. <laughs> Don't give anything to share. Mm mm. The car left here on Sunday. No Sunday Thursday. Thursday. Wow. And I was shaking the whole time. I wanted it to come now, 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 now. 
Right now it's ready to go. Full tank of gas. Ready to go. Just let it sink in. It's all it's all just half. It's all sudden. Let it sink in. Hmm. Hey. On shame so won't shame was so fra one yama pusat ma kuma swabus at the abyss at the mamma. Wa ma wari muma nancy muma bonti flame fit the mubi piamu rade. Baba wa di bani yeni miss so tim sufre. Then come in bay. Ya won send that bibi awu tim and awi yama wano. Who ku so ye nimsa wa ye bi. Hey. Yeah, no more, no more needing a ride, no more MTM and, and some phone, no more any of that. Hey, what's up, my man? When you're bad. Oh, good morning. So I'm here about to get my hair done, right? Oh, I didn't. Oh my gosh. Let me pause this. Let me pause this music. I never told you the car story. I told you I had a car story. Oh God. I didn't, I don't believe I brought an extra battery. Okay. All right. I'm here. I'm early. I'm one hour early for my hair appointment. I used a hair milk in my hair yesterday. I did not wash my edges. Hence the product and the hair milk is white girl whatever okay we are here i'm getting my hair silk pressed for the first time ever being natural now i originally booked this appointment to have it to have my install maintenance the sewing maintenance but obviously the sewing is going right yo it's different six ten years ago when i used to get i used to go to the hair salon every single friday i had a standing appointment so i never had to go on style see find something like no she knew i was coming in fridays at five o'clock or 4 45 whatever it was right i mean i did that even back at home rhode island so i did this for like 15 years right so now that i do my own hair and i want to go to the hair salon it's so difficult i don't want a weekly appointment obviously because i do my own hair and these places are far like these places are far from me okay i do my own hair and i enjoy doing my own hair i enjoy being on my own time i just like to do my thing when i want to do my thing but not only that i like saving that money and using it elsewhere <laughs> for other things additionally yeah, so with that said, I wonder if these stylists who are on style seat offer standing appointments. I mean, maybe they do. I haven't asked. I'm not going to because I'm not doing something standing because I do my hair based on how I feel. So if I wake up or if I'm thinking of a few videos, I got somewhere to go and I'm like, okay, I have a pat down. We'll go good with this outfit or okay, let me do a whole pullback bun or let me do a top bun or let me do a whatever, a wig, my curly wig or a straight. I like to have that option. I'm not... I'm not just doing my blowout, uh, what, curly situation anymore. That was like an all the time thing. Now I like to do lots of different styles. So a standing appointment is just not going to be my, my judge. But what I want to get into these people, yo, this, these folks be booked up. And I understand why, because they do great work. But it's like, yo, you got to book mad ahead. Mad ahead, right? There you go. English for you. So with this appointment, I have booked it. I think I even booked it while I was sitting in her chair. So this was, what, two and a half weeks ago? Two weeks ago? Three weeks ago? I don't even know. And here I am. I'm going to just do the silk press, obviously, because I want to get my hair trimmed, like I told you. And I want to see my hair, girl. I can't wait to put my fingers in my hair. Oh, bless his name. So there's that. But then I was looking, I mean, I've been looking for days to be like, yo, I want to book another appointment sometime out again because I feel like I'm going to enjoy this silk press and why not? You know, why not do it again? But you can barely even get an appointment. So I have three stylists that I've favorited on Style Seat and all that people booked. Book for October, November. It's like, dang, dang, what, what incarnation? You know what I'm saying? So it's like, wow, 
wow what a wow okay so there's that but yeah I, I just thought about the fact that I haven't told you my oh no oh I'm I'm sitting here going through my community messages right because I'm here early and I did that intentionally because I wanted to make sure I didn't get stuck in traffic and I also know I have things to do like I have things to do like to respond to messages and like respond to, to YouTube comments like DMs I mean there's always something to do okay so I said I'm gonna come early and do that and I just saw a message on here that you know oh okay so do you want to check you said you oh okay I'm gonna look at that in a second so yeah I, I'm backed up on YouTube comments I'm backed up on IG comments I'm back I've been you know I've been I've been working a lot you see what I'm saying so there's that I do what I can I used to feel really bad about not responding to every comment because I truly want to respond to everyone I hope that you notice a difference I'm not looking for any kind of slap in the back kiss on the cheek I'm just saying I I know that I do things differently I like I just know <laughs> I just know right like anyway but okay so yeah I need to respond I'm gonna do that in a second but when I put my phone up and I saw my chairs I was like oh I gotta take the car story because I obviously I have a new car right yo oh man 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 oh do I tell the story now oh god do I tell the story I don't I want to save my battery because I want to show you my silk press when I get it I can tell you the story now okay I'm going I'm to I'm I'm give y'all a Cliff Notes version of it, okay? So, what had happened was I paid off my old, my old car and I wanted to, like you saw, I give it to my mom. So, I we had it as an extra car and I just knew that when I paid it off, I was going to, well, when we paid it off, my husband and I have money together. When we paid it off, I was going to get a new car. I love, I, I grew to love BMW, so... Why am I even saying this? That doesn't matter. Okay. So anyway, so I, I purchased the car vir vir what virtually out of, out of town, out of state. You know how you can get a car from a different state and then they transport it to you? So we did that because my husband's car was purchased the same way. So we're like, okay, let's just, if it's in a different state, no big deal. Let's just have it transported to us. Okay. Now this is something I have never done before. And I have been burned in the past. I remember when I was in college, honey, we used to get them refund checks, which I still owe on. I don't know why Department of Education, whoever it is, I don't know why you emailing me asking me for your student loan money. Don't email me. I've been out of school. I don't know where that money is. Okay, I don't have it. <laughs> Can you imagine? I can't. So student loan refunds, you know what I'm saying? I had a cute little $10,000 cash, baby. Went and bought a car. That guy burned me. It had a transmission issue. I had no clue. I was moving to Houston. Six months later, my mom and I drove. By the grace of the Lord Jesus, we made it. And I later realized I had a transmission issue, honey. The car was a dunzo. <sighs> so anyway, that's when I got this. New it doesn't matter. So yeah, so we got the car via, via transport from Oklahoma, honey. And you know, I, I sometimes say that I feel, I feel like I don't hear from God. But what it is, I'm learning little by little in, in different scenarios is that I'm not attuned to him as much as I should be. And that's a problem because I felt a little bit of discomfort with the purchase, but I was so anxious to get the car so that I can give my mom the car as soon as possible because I know that she needed it, that I was just, I, I ignored the little bit of discomfort that I felt, okay? That was problem number one. So we purchased the car. It was a quick turnaround deal, too. It had a good uh, income, what do I say? A good percentage on the financing or whatever you call it and all that. But the car looked good. It looked like, I mean, it was niggered out, okay? When I say niggered out, I just felt like the car had been owned by a man, obviously. And I don't know if he was some kind of gangster or what. But the car was appealing to me, okay? When I had my old car back at home, honey, I had 360.10. And I know it's illegal, but that's what I like. That's the vibe that I like. So, you know, whenever I was driving past a cop, I would open up my sunroof so you can get a little bit of light in. Because my homegirl told me what to do. <laughs> so they can see that you're a woman. This is okay let's not even go down that route because then all the stereotyping and the profiling okay fine we understand all that but anyway that's how i made it around it so this car was appealing to me because it was blacked out and i later realized that that's illegal okay so the the wheels were blacked out the 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 lights in the back had a film on it. I realized it when it came. It had this film, honey. It was black, okay? It was tinted 360. 
the 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 front it was limo limo tent honey it was a beautiful car it was a bmw and the windshield had a visor tint so it wasn't the whole thing it was just like a little bit but it was it was low i later i later realized that the visor tint was too low but i liked it because it looked black like when i'm driving you don't need to know who's up in here period you know what I mean? so all these things were appealing to me the mileage was fine whatever whatever okay but i still i'm not lying i still felt like i don't know i don't know i don't know whatever we we purchased the car there were some problems where they told us like oh you have to register it when you finance a car, you need to register it. Like, what do you mean I have to go down and register it and pay the taxes? Have you lost your mind? But it was like these small things that we just ignored because of eagerness to get the car. So the car comes, honey. And when that man drove the car off the transfer table, first of all, I was in my house and he started the car on the transportation truck thing, Majiggy. And the minute I heard the car, boom, I was like, Oh no, what is that? That is not my car. I walked out my door and sure enough was my car. I said, no ma'am, this can't happen. And so I was recording and I was like, oh, absolutely not. That car is loud. Why is that car so loud? There's no reason why the car should be this loud. The car was ex this uh, uh, <laughs> uncomfortably loud, okay? And I was like, mm, what kind of exhaust? What is this? And so... The guy drives the car to me and I'm recording and I'm like, oh no, why is this thing so loud? The car was clean, leather was nice, car was just beautiful, well kept, all these things. But I was like, what is this sound? This sound is not working for me. And then the rotors were rusted. I was later told that when a car sits for a while, that can happen, but as you drive it, it wears off. And I confirmed that at the dealership, the, the car shop that I had gone to the next day. And if you saw my IG stories, you know I was at a car shop on, on a certain Saturday. So I called them and I'm like, excuse me, why is the car so loud? There's no way. I mean, I like how the car's blacked out, but this is not going to work for me. Now, the car was a trade-in, okay? So, it, this place wasn't a BMW dealership. It was a trade-in. I'm like, why is the car so loud? This is a problem for me. Why? I can't drive this. How? Oh, that's just how it is. This is why they lied. I'm like, uh, I'm getting this car checked out tomorrow or today or tomorrow, and I'm going to call you all back because there's no way in, in <laughs> I didn't say hell, but there's no way that I'm driving this vehicle like this. I'm a woman and there's just no way. Maybe men like this. I don't like this. And you all did not tell me the car sounded this way. So already I'm like, oh my God, if I have to give this back, it's going to delay my whole plan and be so irritating. And so I didn't want to have to give back, but I was like, I'm definitely not paying to fix this exhaust system because this is not going to work. And I'm not paying this. I already gave y'all a $5,000 deposit and all this. There's just no way. Okay. So all the reasons why never again, if you plan on buying a car out of state and having to transport it to you, don't do it. So... I go to a deal, a, a car shop the next day and I had them do the used car workup, whatever you call it, where they just check everything. Baby, baby. The old man was so nice. He was like, they shouldn't have sold you this car. You got to send it back. I was like, I was like, what? No, nope, they should have sold it to you. This is illegal. It's illegal to sell the car like this. It's illegal. The catalytic converters are missing. They deleted the O2 sensors. Then Dan Funk could see how missing. What do you mean? This is illegal. You can't even, um, the din dang is not even connecting to the huang huang. It's not connecting to the computer and the car. Therefore, if there's an issue with the motor, if there's an issue with the engine, it won't even show on the dashboard. They deleted huang huang. Whoever did this is illegal. It's illegal. They shouldn't have done it. They should have sold you this car. You can't even register the car here in Texas. Nobody will register the car for you. Nobody, hey, nobody will inspect the car for you. You won't even pass an inspection. The car won't pass inspection. The car won't get registered. I said the tail lights even cry. They black out the tail light. The tail light is illegal. <laughs> I said the windows tinting the wind. The window tinting is illegal. <laughs> and I was like, well, I actually like the tint, you know. But you know, and, and back in Rhode Island, you know, you can find some folks who can, you know, go ahead and and and, and inspect it for you, give you a safe inspection. But I was like, oh, okay, he's like, you know, and then this this visor tinting is too low. That's illegal. But he's like, you know, the main thing is the, the catalytic huang huang. That's the reason why the exhaust sounds so loud. Whoever did this intentionally did this to make sure that the exhaust can be loud. Because the car should not sound like this. <laughs> God of mercy, how can I do that to me? What have I gotten myself into? Mind you, this is less than 24 hours after I purchased the vehicle. Uh, uh, well, after I've, I received the vehicle. 
Mitchell home is Jesus Lord of Nazareth. How can this happen to me? So I was like, oh, they're taking so 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 okay. So before I had even gone, before I even had gone, I called. I said, I'm, I'm going to the car shop tomorrow to get it checked out. But right now, I'm letting you know, this sound is not pleasing to me. There's no way. There's no way I'm keeping a car when it sounds like this. So whatever it is, I need you to be ready to pay for it. Well, you know, okay, let us know what happens. And we'll help you out. I'm like, mm-mm. I'm going to let you know tomorrow. I'm going to call you when I get to the car shop. So I went. And so when the guy told me this, I said, I said he, so he goes, you got to send this back. I'm sorry, this has happened a few times. You know, people buy cars from out of state and they come, you don't know what's wrong with it. He's like, you gotta send this back. Oh, I'm a from. I said, hi, Juan Juan, you know, my friend Dean. I said, I can talk to Juan Juan, uh-huh. And I'll pick your phone. I said, hi, excuse me. And I was shaking because my adrenaline was rushing because I was so upset, sad. I wanted to cry. I was so angry. And so I'm on the phone. I could tell the guy was on speakerphone. And I like spoke for like five minutes, right? And the guy didn't say anything. He was so quiet. So I'm like, this is turning out to be a long story time. So I'm like, excuse me, hi, this is, you know, Dan Jane from, I just purchased a car yesterday. I called you yesterday that I was gonna go to the, the car dealership or the car repair shop. Mm -hmm. So I'm here right now and I want you to know that I am completely horrified. I'm horrified and mortified at the fact that you all have sold me a vehicle that is illegal to be sold. Not only is it not, a, not only will I not be able to register this car in Texas, it is illegal that you sold me the car. Do you want to know? why because i'm being told that the catalytic converter is missing the co2 sensors are not speaking to the computer someone has deleted the den den the huang huang and all i know is this has this is a shady deal you all i don't know what kind of business you're running over there in oklahoma but this is a shady deal you all have to, i when i sent you my five thousand dollars i sent it promptly i did this deal because i needed a vehicle i trusted that you all were sending me a good vehicle and now i come to find out that this is going to be a five thousand dollar job to fix this uh, exhaust system and i'm being told that it's not even worth it because if i fix it there could be issues down the road with the computer sensors and the din din the hoo hoo so all i know is I am completely horrified that you all are doing shady business over there in Oklahoma. I want to talk to the manager of this place right now. I want my money right now. And I want you to come get your car today. This car is going back. I am disgusted. I am turned off. I am horrified yo i was shaken i was like you need to come get this vehicle now and give me my money now and so it was crickets on the phone and i was like hello did you hear me <laughs> and the guy goes yeah yeah and so the the manager came on the phone yeah, hello, da, 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 da. this is so-and-so. I just heard you talk about the whole thing. I'm very sorry that this has happened. The car went through an inspection through the sales team, uh, the Hawaiian, the the repair team that did the inspection and they gave me a certified whatever that they were they were inspected the car and there were no issues with the car. So I'm shocked to hear this because if you're telling me that this is what's going on with the car, then that means that my my team over here didn't do what they're supposed to do. They didn't tell me that the, issue, the car had any issues. Even I drove the car home and all this and I'm, He's like, so I am, you know, I'm sorry to hear that, but you know, you're saying that we're doing a, we're doing a, sh we did a shady deal. I want to let you know that this wasn't a shady deal. I said, excuse me. I said, excuse me. First of all, I said, excuse me, sir. No. I said, I understand that perhaps your response, your tone is in response to my tone, but I want to be very clear right now that I, you have no right to speak to me in that tone. I, at this moment, have every right to talk to you in my tone because I am a paying customer that paid you my $5,000 yesterday in cashier's check, okay? I paid you promptly, okay? And I purchased a car from you all in Oklahoma with tr trusting that the car that I have never seen, touched, smelled was in good condition and I received a car that is illegal to be sold. So I want to be very clear that your tone right now is inappropriate. You have no right to take that tone with me. What you should be saying is that you're sorry that your repair department that checked over this vehicle did a shady job because they did not obviously check it or when they checked it, they saw it had an issue and ignored it. That's number one. And number two, your salesman 
is doing shady business. So to me, this establishment is doing shady business. And that's what I said. And I, that's what I believe. Well, ma'am, I'm sorry. I, you know, I tend to be very direct when I'm talking and I understand that you're upset. I, you know, I did not know this. This is now coming to my attention. I'm going to talk to my sales Juan Juan on Monday because this is a problem for me and we don't do shady business here. You know, I, I, if I'd known that the car had that issue, I would never send it to you, this and all that. And, you know, I understand they want your money right now. That's impossible for me to get it for you. But if you'd like, I can have someone come and get the vehicle next week and I can send you your money back or I can give my credit card right now to the deep to the to the repair shop and they can fix the catalytic wine wine for you right now and you keep the vehicle and the guy the, the guy the old man at the thing said no 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 don't do it don't don't do it he said don't do it because if you fix it right now who's to say what will happen with this car later on excuse me later on down the line he's like this car should not have been sold it's illegal i was like i appreciate you offering that but I need this car picked up. I need it back. I need you to take your car back. And I need my money back as soon as possible. You know? And so he's like, okay, well, first thing Monday morning, I'm going to, uh, what's the name? I'm going to put a, put your, your check in them or what was the name? Overnight mail and, and send it back to you. I said, thank you very much. And your car will be parked in my driveway. You all can come get it whenever you want. And at some point, he's like, you know, how far are you from the... I guess I got to send a guy out there, you know, fly him out there to come get the car. I said, I don't know, sir. Whatever you want to do. The car's in the parking lot. When the guy comes to get the car, I'll give the key to the guy and then that's it. I'm done. You see what I'm saying? So he was like, how far are you from the airport? I said, both airports are far away. I said, okay, is there a way you could pick up the driver from the airport? I said, excuse me. Excuse me, ma. Me. Jack, please. Come on, get your car. Get your... Hey, Call your, call your Jack, Robert, call whoever you want to come get the car to come get it. Me. Me and Kofa will be free from airport and, and find anybody for you. Ow. Please, Jack, say something good. Say something good. I can't do that. Mm -mm. I can't do it. No, I'm not going to come pick up a stranger to come bring to my house. No, no, sir. With this COVID, COVID, COVID crisis. Oh, no, 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 me. You need to find your transport for your guys to come get a car. But make sure my money is here first. First, bring my money. So he said, okay. Uh, I said, can you call me when you put my check in the mail? I would like to have confirmation. Sure. So Monday comes, he calls me, he calls me like 8 a.m. Hello? Hi, this is Juan Juan from the end. I said, okay, hi. He said, okay, you know, uh, we um, actually are going to have a guy come out to you and they're leaving right now. <laughs> no, they're going to leave tomorrow morning at 3 a.m. And then they're going to get to you at, uh, what, I'll say like about 12 p.m. So what I'm going to do is give the guy, give the driver the check, and then he'll give you the check, and then you give him the key. I said, fantastic. That works for me. So uh, I was like, can I appreciate you calling me first thing in the morning? He goes, yep, you were the first person on my list. I said, I appreciate that. Thank you. So the next day came, and then these guys came. Yo, these old folks were so funny. Yo, the old men got out of the car. They were mad old. I'm like, y'all are on retirement driving cars. Praise be to God. I mean, I guess y'all getting mileage reimbursement. I said, wow, these people are old. But, you know, they were agile, too. And so they drove a regular, a regular old car, and one guy was going to drive this car back. I said, the car's loud. I said, I don't know if we're going to take you, take you back to Oklahoma. And they would look at me like, and I said, yeah, the car. I don't know what kind of issues you got, but I don't trust it. And they would look at me like, I was like, yeah, so, you know, be safe. And that's when one of the old men, I had, I had just finished getting glam, and one of the old men was like, can I tell you something? I was like, sure, what is it? He goes, you are so beautiful. I said, well, thank you so much. <laughs> you know, it was the funniest thing. And then they were like, I was like, yeah, you know, the deal didn't go well. And then they were like, I don't know anything. All I do is drive the cars. I was like, oh, okay, so you have no clue what's going on right now. He goes, nope. All I am here to do is drive the car and give you this check. I said, well, praise God. No need. I said, there's no point. Thank you very much for, you know, for coming here to get it. Thank you. And then they left. But, oh, my God. So that's, uh, this was Tuesday? What day was Okay, so the day that I found out that the car was illegal, that Saturday, we then went looking for a new car. <laughs> and only, only God. Only God, we found this car, and it is beautiful. I love this car. I felt no, no hesitance, no nothing, and that's how I knew. Like, see, you rush stuff, you antsy, you ignore the signs, you end up in some trash. And it was a huge lesson learned that when God speaks, sometimes it's not always like a thunderstorm, lightning bolt, boom! You need to do what I'm telling you to do. It was a very subtle, like, mm, discomfort that I just ignored, and I learned my lesson, yo. This one I felt complete. This one is way better. 
this one is way better way uh way i'm gonna give you some english way more nicer <laughs> you know than the other one and i love it so 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 much and i'm just so grateful that was a long story time you see what i'm saying it's a long story time but it was it was much needed to just hip you to what incarnation is going around going on around in these streets so praise be to god i'm so grateful i love my vehicle and here i why is it so high why am i so high i don't like that i want to go down more okay anyway yeah so Let's talk about it all over again. Like, you still cannot talk to me anyhow. Yo, when you have a hair salon in the same place as a barbershop, the men be doing too much. Like, you walk by and hear y'all looking at you, commenting. Just please. Okay, sir. Thank you. Goodbye. But, yo. Uh, once again. Look at myself and fix his name. Oh, have I showed you this? You put it in between the, the two the seats and stuff so, you know, stuff don't fall on the side. I'm going to link it. I forget the name of it. It was on Shark Tank, apparently. It's really good. I have it. Why do I still have this on? I have it on this side and on that side. Yo! Look at... You can barely see my hair, but... Oh! It is very silky. My hair is thin not in a bad way but once it's blow dried it's so silky that it looks extremely flat when it was straight it was so cute i like it straight i have no issue with that but with this when i wrap it it's going to give it a little bit of a something i love my hair i love my hair though so we are gonna do clippings i wish i had thought about it beforehand i would have ordered my clippings it would have already been at my house it would have already been a thing but that's not a problem. I don't mind wearing my hair by itself without a clip-in. I don't need that. I'm totally, I love my hair. I am gonna buy clip-ins though, because, ew, why not? I cannot wait! Now this, I'm gonna wrap, and I know it's gonna be good. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so here we go again. Here we go again with the hair chronicles. You already know how it go with the hair chron. Ooh, ooh, bless God, you know, slow down. My Jesus, lamb. Wow. Okay, speed racer. Wow. You almost crashed. Are you? Wow. Then you gonna finger off the person. My God. This is the kind of stuff that turns into road rage. I can't. Mm -mm. Yo. So I am so excited. Wow, this wow. Okay. I'm so excited. Don't need to say this to me. Don't even know that I'm already on my way. On my way. Why are you blushing? Key a sweet concussion. Oh, you miss my touching. Not a baby. Go. 
<laughs> and a text message. That, that's the whole. That's the whole way it ended. But it's pa- like not for nothing. Like, that may seem <laughs> obvious that you have to go, but a lot of people don't. A text like, message. You know what I mean, like I was in a situation before where I was with someone and he got someone else pregnant, and I stayed with them. You mm. know what I mean? So that it takes a lot of courage to walk away. It's so easy on paper, yeah. to say what you would or would not yeah. in a relationship. That's why we can never, yeah. Over emphasize how yeah. we end up in situationships that are toxic yeah. but yeah. are difficult to leave because at the end of the day it is like f- fueling and feeding a need. Like, what do you think your situationships yeah. fed wow. you that made you not have a standard or to the, maintain just, a standard? Just the immediate, I guess just the immediate desire to be in relationship. Yeah. Um, I enjoy doing relationship, whether it's a platonic friendship, um, whether it's my bestie friendship um, with my girls. Like, I desire and I honor relationships. So, a situation it starts to really feel like that which I'm desiring. And it's like, yeah. okay, well, you know, we're both comfortable here. I don't want to go and have to get to know someone else mm-hmm. or go through the whole what's your favorite color what's your favorite yeah. type of dating sort of thing um so yeah i think just the the desire to be in relationship and the comfort of or the false comfort of a relationship that a situation offers mm, that's so good because i do think that when people end up in situations need myself something that is not going to be good nutrition for my soul you know what i mean it, it's like eating fast food or sugar i made a cookie after this everything's fine but it's like you just know at the end of the day this isn't going to be good for my soul long term but it does satisfy that immediate need so that instant gratification means more than the long-term desire but the goal is to come to a place where you can put that long-term desire okay girl i wrapped my hair last night and that i do know how to do Okay, and then oh, I had this head wig cap on the wrap, but obviously it was sliding. But this is actually really good. The sun's in my face. This is actually really good because it holds the wrap in place. <clears throat> oh man, I feel like I had got a relaxer on my hair. Oh, you know, I used to have my hair cut a lot of different, I've, I've had a lot of different shapes and styles to my hair, which I love. And I used to have a side bang. Ugh, this is just making me want to be relaxed. But why be relaxed when I can just have my hair like this? What in the world? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. So, oh, my hair feels so silky. It feels so silky, baby. <clears throat> I contemplated having her give me a side part, but. I'm actually okay without it because the side part be annoying when it gets in your face and stuff. I might used to have bangs too. I might. Uni is brushing. He's brushing my neck. I might um, end up getting a side part at some point or a bangs because I I just I just love it. What is going on? I just anyway. Okay, so yeah. I mean, we put my middle part back. The side part, yeah, like I was saying, when the wind be blowing, it just be getting annoying, like, keeping it on the side. I am fine. See, this is what I remember about wraps. This. The part that doesn't lay down. So, I remember, oh, uh, boar, is it boar bristle? Okay, thank you. The one that was being used for the wig. Let me do this to brush this down. Okay, so it does stay flat. Now, it, it you know, it's, it's really flat and stuff, but that's okay with me. My hair is flat and that's okay with me. Oh, wow. This feels so good. I didn't work out today. I'll work on on Monday and we'll see, but I'm sure it'll still be good. And honestly, if I need to, I'm going to just slide out of my roots. I don't even care. I am not f- concerned about how my curls are going to be when I'm done. Like with the silk press, that doesn't concern me. I want to get a silk press every two weeks. Like I'm not even lying. This feels good. My, I wish my scalp felt more hydrated, but she explained, which I agree, that if I put stuff on, it's going to weigh the hair down and, and revert the curls and all this and all that. But <clears throat> I, oh yeah, she did trim it. So here we are right now. We, even with the trim, looks so good. Woo. Love, oh, you can't even see. Love, honey. Love, honey. I can do a little behind the ear action. Listen, this is stuff that I 
have not been able to do in so long like just to put my hand behind my ear like who am i wow wow i would have never thought that by going natural i could still achieve a relaxed look i never i didn't know i didn't know i i didn't know anything about being natural and i'm so grateful because it's lower maintenance being natural I can work out a lot easier and I can still get my hair like this and it's it is what's the degrees today 61 it's not gonna be too hot and I just know that this will last I believe that this will last a lot longer and look my part is so good everything is so good baby mm -hmm.